What is up everyone? It's Hunter here back with another video. This weekend, I'm gonna show you what a weekend in medical school looks like. So last week, went through a week without school because we had break. This week, we had class, so I'm gonna have stuff to do this weekend. So I'm gonna show you what a typical weekend in med school looks like. We just got back from school. Well, I did an hour ago. Took the dogs for a walk, so they're pretty tired. Now I created this little charcuterie board with some smoked salmon, some chicken and a biscuit, and some easy cheese. Just finished up watching the last biochem lecture of the day, and now I'm just gonna kinda chill until Marin gets home and see what she wants to do, but I do have a little bit more work I have to do tonight before I can engage in any fun activities. My iPad died and it's the Nebraska-Minnesota game, so I'm not gonna be very productive, so I decided I will continue to be productive by getting a workout in while I watch the game. So we've got Nebraska-Minnesota up top. I believe it's Oklahoma-Texas on the bottom. We got the dogs hanging out. Marin says the garage is too cold, so she doesn't wanna hang out with us, but she's waiting us for us to finish so that we can get some lunch. But yeah, this is the setup. We got squat, bench, overhead press. Let's get after it. Had a great workout, watched a great Minnesota football victory. So now it's time to feast. Got two burritos from Poncheros and Marin's got canes. It's now Saturday morning. I'm gonna try and talk quiet because Marin's still trying to sleep. Uh, it's about 6.40, so I did sleep in this morning. Uh, last night, after eating those burritos, we just watched another football game and then three different hockey games. And during those, I would just throw on my headphones, watch a lab lecture, alternate, do some Anki, just kind of studied very lackadaisically throughout the entire night. So today, all I have to do now is just get caught up on my Anki and we're good to go. So did pretty well keeping up with content throughout the week and have a pretty relaxed weekend, but I have to eat breakfast because I'm going to be volunteering at the Des Moines Marathon, handing out water at a water station by school. So I got to do that and then we'll come home and get back to studying. As you can see, this weekend has been pretty relaxed. I've probably put in about two to three hours of like actual dedicated study time, you know, very focused here at my desk in the office. Otherwise, it's just been doing Anki or watching some videos during commercial breaks or, you know, during a sporting game of some sort that we're watching on TV. Besides the distracted studying, we've had time to, you know, spend a lot of times out a lot of time outside with the dogs. I got a workout in and really we just like to relax and we haven't had a weekend to just stay home and kind of veg out for a while. So that's what we decided to do this weekend. I realized very quickly in medical school that I don't like to study on the weekends, especially because Marin isn't having to go to work or anything. I like to be able to just hang out with her. We have friends in our community that we like to watch the sporting games with, play beanbag toss, hang out with our dogs. So on the weekends, I don't like to do anything if I can handle it. Um, and the way that I do this is just by prioritizing my studying during the week. I know that I can hang out and do nothing on the weekends as long as I get my work done during the week. Now this week was a little different because typically we have some histology labs, like one to two videos that we have to watch outside of class. And I usually will just watch those on Saturday morning. And I didn't realize until Friday this week that we actually had seven of those videos to do. So yesterday, that's what I was doing during most of these sporting games is just watching these lectures and then doing some Anki cards on them. But typically that's not something that I would have to do 
um, for a long period of time on the weekends, I just wasn't very prepared. Now lately, I, I don't know if I've just like reached this section of YouTube of first year medical students and these like scare videos that they're putting out, but I've just seen so many, I've watched a couple, but I've seen a ton of thumbnails for I'm drowning in medical school or medical school is so overwhelming, I can't handle it. And I don't know if these students actually feel that way or if it's just a great video to put out for YouTube that's gonna get views. Um, but I feel like majority of the people that I know, at least at my school, don't really feel that way. So I just wanted to bring kind of some light to uh, the first year of medical school. Like, is it stressful? Yes. Are we learning a lot of information? Does it feel like we're drinking out of a fire hose? Absolutely. Is it overwhelming? No. You just gotta know how to handle it. And I mean, everyone deals with stress differently, but the way that the medical school curriculum is set up is like, they give you so much information, it is impossible to learn it all. Like, just get that out of your mind as soon as you can, because you're not gonna remember everything. And the sooner that you can realize that and then figure out what study methods work for you, the quicker that you can get into a groove and have some time to relax. And on top of, you know, doing everything that I have to do for school. I was able to go volunteer at the Des Moines Marathon this morning and hand out water as runners came by. And then I have time for YouTube and working out. I'm getting stronger as well as smarter. Like there's time for hobbies and passions in medical school outside of studying. And it's just a matter of, you know, like I said, figuring out what works for you and then making that fit into your schedule so that you have time for the things besides school that you really wanna do. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have had the question, I've heard it many times, no one's dropped it in the comments, but I'm being asked constantly in person, what's in the fanny pack? So today, we're gonna show you. Now this is a newer fanny pack. Um, this one is from, I don't even know, Vault, Fjall Raven, a Swedish company. Uh, I will have it in the link in the description um, on Amazon is where I got this one. And I had an old champion one from like TJ Maxx before, which was great, but it was starting to wear holes in it and I, I, I didn't wanna start losing things. So we're gonna go through what's in the fanny pack currently. Honestly, it hasn't changed um, in probably the last year or so. It's, it's always the same thing. So I'm gonna start in the back here. We've got three compartments. We got this nice mesh one back here, the big main one, and then this front pocket. So we'll go back to front and show you what's in it. So in the back, we always carry my favorite pens. So we got the Pilot G2. I'll have pretty much everything in here linked in the description if you wanna check it out. So we got those, we got the Harley keys so no one steals it. Um, these could just be hanging up in our welcome area but I always forget and just leave them in the fanny pack. So they're there. And then I always keep this Leatherman Skeletool in here, which is a nice little pliers. It has a screwdriver, a knife for opening packages, things like that. Um, I'm, I, I like to think of myself as a handy person. I can fix a lot of things, and if I can't, I can probably figure out how to. And this is just a very valuable thing to have on me. I, I definitely like actually use it just about every day for something. So love having that on me. It's really light, and it has just about everything that I need. Now, sometimes I get into trouble with the Leatherman, and I will cut myself like on that finger like I did last summer. So in the main compartment here, we have super glue and athletic tape to fix those uh, boo-boos when they happen or anything else. I mean, it's not always me cutting myself, but super glue, great for healing cuts, tape to cover it up so it doesn't get infected, at least until you can get home and actually wash it. Um, along with being handy, I do like to keep another flashlight. So. Also, my phone is typically in here, but I'm using it to record. Everyone uses the flashlight on their phone for stuff. I like having this little mini light. Um, it's actually like super bright. And I like that it's super small. If I get into like under a sink to, you know, fix the drain or something, I can just put it in my mouth and point it wherever I need to. So that's super handy. Uh, this one actually also has a little clip on here that I can clip it onto my hat if I'm wearing it and then I have a little headlamp, uh, but it's super small and very bright. 
super handy. I also carry my wallet in here. And then sometimes I wear sunglasses and if I wear them, you know, into school or something, I don't wanna like wear them inside cause weirdos do that. Um, so I keep just a little gooder sunglasses bag in here so that I can chuck the sunglasses into the fanny pack and they don't get scratched that way. And then I don't use it, but uh, Marin occasionally asks for chapstick. So I have some extra chapstick in here just in case she wants it. And then in the front, we have, you know, dog poop bags. You never know when you're gonna need it. And my mask from Roan. And that's the whole what's in my fanny pack tour. Nothing much, just the essentials, but I use just about everything on a daily basis. This is just a little POV of the fanny pack. So we got this back area. I almost forgot, I also keep an extra hair tie in here cause you never know when one will break. So then we've got the main pocket, nice and spacious there. I like to keep the tape and super glue in the back here. So it keeps it kind of just out of the way. And then the main compartment spot is usually wallet and phone. And then everything else just kind of tucks in into the back or the front. So it's pretty clean, nice and tidy. I like this one a lot. So what do you guys think? Do I have everything I need in here? What Drop in the comments below, what else should I have in my fanny pack? All right, so there you have it. That is a weekend in medical school. Now we kind of have like off weekends and then on weekends where we have a test every other week. So it's usually like the weekend after a test, it's more relaxed, which is kind of what we just had. I can do kind of whatever I want, a little bit of studying, but really just have a lot of free time. And then we have weekends that are directly before a test where I am studying a little bit more, but still have plenty of time to watch a sports game or go do something fun with friends or with Mary. So that's a weekend in medical school. This next week, I'm actually going to film how much I study during the week. So you can get a feel for how much time I have to put in to my studies during the week to be able to have the more relaxed weekends that I do. So we'll catch you in the next one.